FSDB presents October is Blindness Awareness Month, Orientation and Mobility. Hello, I'm Carl Jacobson and I'm here with a student and um, this month we're celebrating blind awareness and we're going to showcase uh, different students with a number of different skills and techniques as they progress from elementary all the way through high school. Gym class. Click. Yep. Class. You got it. We are working to help the students maintain proper cane techniques. Good job. Cyrus, can you hear my cane moving side to side? Mm -hmm. Can you try to move it side to side? Oh, Hunter's helping out too. Hunter, can you move your cane side to side? Yeah. There you go. I have to, to sweep it. You sweep your cane? And so you sweep your cane to keep you protected? Yeah. And what does it keep you protected from? And why does it keep you safe? From me bumping into something. All right. Could your cane protect you from drop-offs? Yes. How about trees? Yes. How about, does your cane protect you from poles? Yes. Does your cane protect you from bumping into someone in front of you in line? Yes. All right. Move that cane side to side. And when we're out in the community, we really got to make sure we're doing that. Yep, you're jumping on a metal plate that goes over a drain. You like that sound? Landmarks help our students maintain their orientation in the community. Looking out for the unexpected is part of the learning process. It's all this moss from the hurricane. It's got a sweeper on it and it sucks up all of the stuff in the street. Was that loud? Yeah. yeah. Well, look at you handle like a champ. There's sometimes there's loud noises out in the community. Keep going towards the end of the block. Feel it? Good. Nice job. All right. Let's turn around. Put her back towards it. Okay. So here's your challenge. We found the end of the block. The block's at your back, and that's Douglas Street, and Macaris is on our left. We're gonna walk along Macaris, and we're gonna go all the way to Moore Hall. What was your favorite thing that you discovered inside Moore Hall? The elevator. The elevator? How, um, come, you, how come you like the elevator so much? Because of the beep. Use your cane. Here, our student discovers the difference in wall textures to locate the elevator. What'd you find? The elevator. Can you find the button and give it a push? Way to go! All right, cane first when entering the elevator. Nice job. So we're on what floor? First or second floor? First floor. First floor. What comes after one? What number? Two. two. So we find the number sign two and we give it a push. Okay, can you find the entrance? The cane provides information while transitioning from the elevator. It makes a different noise, doesn't it? And it feels different. The cane provides different feedback when traveling over different surfaces. Move it to the left. Move it to the left in front of your body. Christina Sapp, O&M specialist, teaches cane techniques to our early learners. How does your cane help you? In front of your body. The cane is in front of your body? Good. Does it find drop-offs? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does find drop-offs. There's a wall. You can find the door handle. There's the door handle. There's the door handle. Up the stairs. The cane is in front of our body. Your right hand is on the handrail. You are doing such a good job. Okay, look left. Okay, look right. Is it safe? Yeah. Is it safe? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's go. Tim Puck, o and Specialist, teaching a dual sensory student safe decision-making skills and colors play a part in those decisions. Hey, what color is that? 
Yellow. You sign it. Yellow? Yellow. Yellow. You're right. Is it safe? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the right. Hey, let's go to the right. Nice job. Luke, what did your cane help you find when we were walking around the block? The little plate where, where the drain goes. Little plate where the drain goes. What else? And then, and then we found the trees. You found the trees? Yeah. Anything else? That's all. That's all. All right. <laughs> all right, buddy. Let's do some walking. You want to skip? Can you skip? You don't want me to skip? Okay. Find that plate again?